Hey everybody, welcome to chapter four, part four. This time we're talking about taste. The um, lovely sense that will allow you to experience the bouquet of flavor that is a uh, cheesy chalupa and uh, the Taco Bell wine that comes with it. And yes, Taco Bell is making wine. Things are pretty bleak right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and count this one as a win for the world. All right, let's talk about how the chemical sense of taste works. We have these little papillae here, these little bumps on your tongue. If you uh, look in the mirror and, and stick your tongue out, you will see that you have these little bumps everywhere. Those aren't your taste buds, but those are your papillae. And around these papillae, we have these little grooves. In these grooves, we have the clusters of receptors that we call taste buds. So our tongues have receptors that allow us to perceive five different types of taste, many of which have important survival functions because the taste tells us a bit about what sort of nutrients the food might contain. So we have sweet foods, which contain an energy source. Sour, which contains potentially toxic stuff like uh, strong acids. Umami, which is a savoriness. Um, proteins that can help us repair and grow tissue. Bitter, which can be a potential poison and salty. Uh, sodium, which is essential to, essential to a lot of physiological processes. So let's talk a bit about the neurochemistry of taste. Taste is a chemical sense, which means it responds to the presence of chemicals. Whereas other things we've talked about, like hearing, are mechanical senses, right? They respond to physical stimulation. Um, these taste receptors are easily triggered to send a message to the thalamus, being the thalamus being that temporal lobe structure, which is sort of a relay station for all of our sensory input. Um, Top-down processes can still override this neurochemistry. Um, our expectations do influence our perception of taste. As we mentioned earlier, we have all these papillae on our tongue surface with these grooves lined with taste buds. And the taste buds being our specific little sensors that are uh, sensitive to the uh, presence of the chemicals in our food. You may have seen something like this at some point in your education that uh, certain parts of your tongue are better at tasting some things than others, and there's not really any evidence to support this. At the very least, the organization of portions of your tongue sensitive to certain tastes are not conserved between people, they're individual. Okay, that's it for our discussion of taste, keeping it uh, short and sweet, I guess. Uh, next time we will be on to our discussion of smell.